This is the Dark Lord Happy Pants, and today I am going to be reviewing a book. The book of the day is, ta-da, Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. And for those of you who have been living in a cave for, well, since 2005, uh, Twilight is a hit series by this Mormon lady named Stephanie Meyer who wrote the book based off an erotic dream she had of herself in a meadow with a sparkly guy. Yeah, so let's dig in. All right. My biggest problem with this book was the fact that it's pretty much just a blend. The writing is pretty much just a blend of purple prose and beige prose. Like, seriously, page six. Here is a description of La Push. <clears throat> La Push is the tiny Indian reservation on the coast. Yeah, that's all we get. Kind of sucks, doesn't it? Alrighty, now let's see if I can find the meadow scene for an example of some of the purple pros. Alrighty, let's see. Excuse me. You know what? I'm just going to go to the index, to the table of contents. Alrighty. Alright, here we are. Page 260, Chapter 13, Confessions. Sound serious. Alright. He lay perfectly still in the grass, his shirt open over his sculpted incandescent chest, his scintillating arms bare, his glistening pale lavender lids were shut, though of course he didn't sleep. A perfect statue carved in some unknown stone, smooth like marble, glittering like crystal. Yeah. If that doesn't scream Jane Austen wannabe to you, I don't know what does. Maybe stupid. Yes, yes, stupid. Let's go with stupid. All right. Now, uh, also, I had a problem with the fact that there were a lot of plot holes in this book, you know, when the plot actually develops near the end. That's right, folks. This whole book is pretty much just boy meets girl, boy and girl fall in love, yada, yada, yada. The end, happily ever after. Ta-da! But... Um, uh, there is a bit of plot here in the end, because this hunter comes along and decides to kill Bella, and Edward has to come in and save her. <clears throat> but yeah, there's a slight problem. You see, one of the characters that Bella is with can see the future. Now, at one point, this hunter calls Bella, and he's all, Hello, yeah, I got your mom. And if you don't come alone and meet me at the ballet studio, I'm going to kill her. Yeah. Don't tell them. Come alone. And Alice, and Bella, she decides to be heroic and go see her mom. And Alice, she doesn't, she sees that James is going to kill Bella, but she doesn't really see why. I mean, she doesn't see Bella ditching her, which I thought was weird. I mean, shouldn't she be able to see that Bella's going to ditch them? Really? Well, anyway... See, I also had a problem with the protagonist, Bella. I mean, M Stephanie Meyer is really trying to portray her as smart. Like, she puts her in advanced classes. She has her read really intellectually stimulating literature. But Bella acts really stupid. Like, she's going to go off alone with Edward at one point, And Edward has con I think that Edward has sort of confessed to her before that, hey, yeah, I want to kill you. And yet she loves him so much that she makes sure that everyone that she loves knows that she's at home alone and not with Edward. Yeah, she's really too stupid to live. And later on, after the hunter guy calls, sorry, I don't know if you can hear that. That's my phone. Anyway, after the hunter guy calls, talking about phone calls while the phone rings, <laughs> uh, anyway, she doesn't really tell Alice or Jasper anything. They don't try to think of a plan before she dives head, head straight, eh, head first into death, pretty much. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see. Plus, uh, let's see, what else? Well, you know what? I think that that's enough for part one. I really have to go right now, but I will talk about the rest of my problems with Twilight in my, the second part of my review. Bye-bye!